Hello and welcome to the Briar Cliff Inn in Bedeck, beautiful Prince Edward Island. I'm here with Mary and we're just going to have a short chat so she can tell you a little bit about this beautiful inn that uh, you're going to see as we talk here in the interview. So Mary, as I've uh, gone through this beautiful facility, I, I know there's a little bit of a history and even at one point you were actually televised or there was a program actually made about uh, you know your beautiful inn. Maybe you could tell us a little bit about your inn and kind of how the concept got started. Well, nine years ago, we found uh, this dilapidated old farmhouse and decided to make it into a four-star B&B. And my husband is a documentary producer who had worked for the CBC for several years, 25 years to be exact. So uh, we decided that this would be a great program to be able to develop uh, a how-to, how to make a farmhouse into an inn. And we sold the idea to Home and Garden Television Canada, and uh, it became a, an hour-long documentary. All right, so you're, Mary's already famous. Now, <laughs> I want to uh, kind of ask you, I, I've gone sort of through your guest book, and I've seen a lot of comments and people talking about the family atmosphere. And so maybe you could tell us a little bit about what are they talking about? Well, we pride ourselves in the fact that we have a, a family atmosphere and that people liked coming back and having the gathering in this room in particular. And we offer complimentary wine in the evening so that people gather and we have conversations about what they've done in the evening. We even have taken the step to not put TVs in the rooms and unfortunately had to lose a star rating because of that. But we're, we pride that that the atmosphere of having family and them coming home through the door and saying, we're home mom and dad is, is a selling point in itself. Great. And I also notice, obviously on the drive out here to do the interview today, uh, that we passed a lot of uh, interesting places. And I also know that you have a different company that does some other things. And I'd like you to explain a little bit about that to the audience. Well, every morning we would get uh, requests for what to do and where to go and what to see on the island. So as a secondary business, we thought there's an opportunity here to be able to take people into the lives of islanders. And so we created a company called Experience PEI, and that's exactly what you do. You go out and you experience life with an islander. So you can go with an oyster fisherman, and you can go into his dory, and you can tong for oysters and pull up an oyster from the, the bottom of the cove and taste it from that location. And then you go back to the plant and you find out about how the process works. Um, and this allows people to have that inner going through the back door and experiencing something that they'd never be able to experience. So we've created over the last four years 30 different experiences that people can take through our company Experience PI. Well that's fabulous. So any of you who are considering coming to Prince Edward Island and would really like to get a flavor of the island and try many of the things that Mary's talking about, I suggest you come uh, over here to her inn and look her up on the net and or book your accommodation right here. Thank you very much.